Hello and welcome back to episode 22 of France in Victoria 3. We are getting very close to the end now. We are currently dealing with another slew of uprisings, which seems to be the standard for starts to episodes anymore. Um, we have to deal with these uprisings, and then by that time it should be about 1934, and hopefully we can get one more war in with Great King and take a big chunk of their population and get that taken care of, but I'm not so sure if that's going to happen. Population-wise, I don't think we have enough to do what we need to do, but I'm going to ride this out to the end and see if we can. Russia, Italy, Spain, Prussia, Joseon. Yeah, I think to make any dent into getting to where we need to go, it would just be one more war with Great King. And I may have simply waited too long. Did our troops redistribute or did they just go home? I should have probably just took time and made sure that we had men on all the fronts we need to. Because like that Bukhara, we're, we're just going to have to surrender that if we're going to want to do anything. All I care about is in what, one year getting to war with these guys? October. We're going to have less than a year, too, to get them to capitulate to us. I don't think we are going to do what we want to do. Do not think it's going to happen. Probably should have been more aggressive earlier. I may make another attempt at this with a different country, potentially like in, uh, Great Britain. Or I might just look for a different fun campaign idea. If you haven't watched it, I'm really enjoying my Egypt campaign where I'm working on the Muhammad Ali Ambition Achievement. Very close on that. Um, should have a couple more episodes for that coming out soon. There should have been one yesterday and there should be another one tomorrow. I don't think that one's going to take too much longer. It's definitely not going to be as long as this one playing to the end. It's definitely very painful currently playing to the end of the game. They want a council republic. I'm not looking to do that. Okay, we did get there in time, so we're taking care of that. We took care of this Tunisian revolt, it looks like. Uh, this one over here. And this one here. We need to get some naval invasions going. And these are those tricky ones where we... I feel like we need to watch them and make sure they go. So we'll get all of our naval invasions in order. Oh, man, another Brazilian revolt. I really need these revolts to stop. Like, we really need these revolts to stop.
did it again. Looks like it didn't do it over here. We're down to these two, but then Brazil's gonna break out before we can do anything else. That's another one done. But a bunch of troops are moving here. I can barely even care about any of that right now. We just need to do what we can do to get through this. The rest of this, um, these revolts. Wait, so it looks like they have an uprising. Looks like we need to do naval invasions. Get those all in order and push and push and push. The good thing is there are no diplomatic plays against us. And right when I say that, you can't count out the North Germans ruining everything. Just send some armies there right now. We're now quickly pushing back through Brazil, getting them back under our control. We will not be deterred. Everything's maxed out except for home affairs. That one did break out, but I should have troops there already taking care of it. So hopefully that one ends fast. We're at June. We have a couple months before we can attack King. 
the Brazil War's over. is really crawling at this point. <laughs> Austria rivaled us. That's kind of funny. They're not going to peace out till they're negative 100, huh? And we don't have anything on deck. That is good. So yeah, I think the play is attack Great King and take as much territory from them as we can. Our exact truce end date is the 20th of October. That's taken care of. We have nothing else on the horizon. Is there a way to see what has the most population? Okay, 25. So I think that's what we're going to want to declare for. Okay, conquer state. And then we also want Hubei as a war goal. Looks like the Russians jumped in. That's not concerning. We'll be fine. Hinan, Western Hubei. Why am I not seeing it? Okay, maybe we can't just push in like that. Northern Anhui. We'll add that. Nanjing, uh, Suzo. We want Suzo. I don't see that on here either. Xi'an. I'm just going to add two more random ones then. It don't matter. Alright. Get our entire army mobilized. We are going to want to focus fire on Great King. This is pretty much going to be our last war. I don't think we'll have time for anything else. 
So pretty much we just need to hope that this is more than enough population to push us over the edge and get our achievement. Let me go ahead and retire him and retire you. We're going to recruit two more generals. Oh, no, not there. For the Indian HQs. And we're going to want to promote both of them so that they have their full complement of armies. Also get a 23 unit army from Japan. If we get rid of like you, we can retire you and bring in the army from Japan. Okay, and that's what it is. We're gonna pretty much sit here and wait and see what happens. going to take us a little bit to even get into the war. I don't even think we're going to be able to finish this war before the end of the time frame. So, but this is it. This war is the only thing we have left. It's kind of like our Hail Mary trying to get this achievement. I don't really care what else happens. Oh, a secession, huh? Oh, man. And another diplomatic play against us. All I care about at this point is getting this war done. And I don't, like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to take care of this in time. Really don't care. Oh, did they just... They just handed it over. Well, that makes us the highest population in the world. Oh, you know why I couldn't declare for those other ones? It's because I didn't have interest declared in the rest of those states, huh? Oh, that's a rookie, rookie move. That's all right. Okay, so annex subject then. You pretty much need to figure out who out of this group has the most population. Spain. Spain easily. So, we'll annex Spain. Same deal. Oh, all our generals are already mobilized, so... Spain is now our, our final hope.
More diplomatic plays are being declared against us. Hopefully Spain just capitulates. It would be nice if they would do it fast, because we are about to get into a lot of wars. This is it. Spain is the last thing we can possibly do. America. Oh, America. You beautiful, beautiful creature. Well, we can throw in some state conquests on America. So we will go for Virginia. And we'll go for North Carolina. And we'll go for Tennessee, Kentucky. And Ohio. And then let's make sure we have some armies heading here. There we go. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, I mean, we're going all in at this point, so we're going to go ahead and do all this. Go ahead and get everyone activated we possibly can. It doesn't matter. This election doesn't matter. The world is ending and nobody knows it except me. They don't know the world isn't programmed to go past 1836. Or 1936. there Italy declared a rivalry against us I, I don't care I just need this war with Spain to end come on we're running out of time we got less than half a year to do this war and they just capitulated all that, all that, and they just capitulate. Well, our population is almost 400 million. So our population alone is definitely not at least half of the world's. I'm assuming this will only say it if we actually control it. We can't do anything else because we're stuck in all of these uprisings.
trying to figure out how they even won that. So August, we're definitely going to get to the end here. We're not going to have any time for any more diplomatic plays, so we are stuck with the cards we're dealt. And I, like I said, I'm pretty sure that this is not working. So I at least know for next time that you need to actually control the population. We have surpassed Great King, but... Yeah, I don't think our puppets count for this. September. Man, this runs slow. go through and do one more little batch of I'm just gonna set everything to max doesn't even matter at this point really I'll accept your peace deal that's fine I guess this is one of those ones where I need to really pay attention. That's pretty much done. want everything to know that it should be auto expanding growing as much as it possibly can Well, that's the end of the game. We did at least get the achievement for going to the end. That's the first time I've done that. Uh, Population-wise... Let's see here. Switch country. Our population skyrocketed. And I should have focused more on population early on, and I really wasn't doing that. Um, our GDP was very strong. Everything was very strong. It's just that we didn't finish the game. So... Oh, I guess that is that. I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, we didn't set out what we uh, we didn't accomplish what we set out to do, but we did accomplish something. We did make France the greatest power in the world by far. We just didn't control half of the world's population directly. So when you're going for the hegemon achievement, that's the biggest thing to remember. You need direct population control. So anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed the series. If you enjoyed the series, I would appreciate a like. If you really enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a subscription. And I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.